as I'm preparing to start this video, I have a, a friend joining us today. For those of you, oh, see if you can see him back there. Yep. Oh, he's scampering away right now. <laughs> when, uh, if you know me, you'll know that I have this penchant for attracting wildlife. Several of the pictures I've posted on Facebook, um, different adventures I've had. Uh, you'll see animals coming up to me. Uh, Doctor Doolittle, father, father Doolittle, is that a thing? Father Doolittle? Yeah, mind. Uh, well, that's awfully abnormal, isn't it? What does it mean to be normal? Oh, man, it makes me it makes me think about a, a scene in in Star Trek Generations. Now, of course. If you know me, you know I can bring Star Trek up into almost any conversation. Seen in Star Trek Generations, the antagonist, Dr. Soren, he kidnaps Jordy LaForge, who, if you don't know, is blind from birth. And he's trying to tell Jordy, you know, don't you want to be normal? You know, and the question comes up, what is normal? And finally, Soren says, normal is what, every, what everyone else is, and you are not. Such a a cold definition to be sure, uh, but I think accurate because isn't that what we base being normal on? Looking at what everybody else is doing, oh that must be normal. If that's the case, I don't know if I want to be normal. Look at our society, look at the whims that we give into. You know, we, we ignore those who are helpless. You know, we, we ignore life itself. As, as a society, we, we, we throw life away. You know, personally, so, so many people are, are enmeshed in this digital, virtual world construct and that becomes such a, a key part of their lives that they miss the real world around them. And yes, I know the, the irony of saying something like that while I'm recording a video that's going to be posted on Facebook. <laughs> these, these things are, uh, these tools that we use can, can, can be good. You know, but... They cannot, they cannot take the place of what it means to be human. And I'm afraid so many things in our society have, have gotten to us in, in such a way that we have forgotten what it means to be human. And so normal becomes something that is twisted and something that is not who we were created to be as children, as sons and daughters of God. And so we can reflect on that question, you know, what does it mean to be normal? When, when do we get to return to normality? When can we get back to normal after all this COVID-19 stuff? And in some sense, yes, we need to get back to quote unquote normal life. I agree. You know, being responsible, taking responsible steps uh, will be key. And we don't know, some places are, are starting to, to phase back into that, but some aren't. Each community is different. So we need to be able to respect that. But returning to normal life. Do we want to return to normal life? Let's not get totally back to normal. No. For 2,000 years, people have looked at Christians and said, those people are weird. Those people are abnormal. Wonderful. That's fine with me. I'm not worried about those other people. You know, a New York Times article recently talked about the weird Christianity. That's... Nothing for me to be concerned about. The only thing that I'm concerned about is serving God, doing His will in my life. 
that's what our normal needs to be. And if society looks upon that and sees that as abnormal, then so be it. Then so be it. Do we want to return to normal as it was pre-COVID-19, pre-lockdown, or not? Or do we want to use this as an opportunity to redefine what it means to be a member of society, to be a human being, to, be, to, to live out our Christian faith? To redefine what it means to be normal, even if the world does not think that's normal. God bless you all. Know that you all remain in my prayers, and God willing, we will all see each other very soon.